Hello my friends, story time with Mrs. Beth again. I have a really cute story about geese. The story's called Grady the Goose. Let's read it together. When the sun peeked over the horizon, the soft blanket of fog that covered the lake turned cotton candy pink. Ripples from restless bullfrogs floated on the surface and dragonflies danced on the lily pads. At the edge of the lake, nestled among the cattails and the wheatgrass, a mother goose sat in the sturdy nest that she had built to hold her eggs. She had laid an unusual large clutch, twelve eggs in all, and carefully kept them warm and dry for twenty-eight days. Father Goose had fiercely guarded the nest to ensure that no harm came to Mama or their unborn babies. When Mama woke that morning, she knew the day had come. She had felt the tiny rumblings beneath her as her babies worked to free themselves from their hard white shells. After two long days of pecking, the fuzzy yellow goslings stumbled and wobbled into the world. All of them but one. Worried Mama nudged the last egg with her beak, looking for a hole or a crack, but there was nothing. Not wanting to upset the others, she tucked the egg back under her and secretly hoped for a miracle. Mama tidied the nest and preened her babies. She watched with pride as they stretched their wings and became steady on their feet. And she carefully chose a name for each one. Oh, they're so cute. Mama was trying hard not to think about the egg beneath her when she felt a tiny movement. She raised her body and peeked into the nest just as her last gosling was emerging from the shell. There. Mama knew immediately what to call her. She would name the new baby after her grandmother who always spoke of nature's miracles. Oh, Grady, Mama cried. You're here. Where else would I be? Grady asked. You silly goose, Mama said. I was worried about you. Grady wiggled out of her mother's embrace. Don't worry about me, Mom, she said. As Grady teetered off to join her siblings, Mama knew it wouldn't be the last time she would definitely worry about her. When it was time for their first swim, Mama and Papa lined up their babies and counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They were all there but one. Where is Grady? Mama asked. She found Grady playing in the cattails not far from the nest. Please, Grady, Mama said, we need to stick together. The goslings stayed close to each other, except for Grady. She was so excited, she jumped in, swimming and splashing past everyone. Please, Grady, her mother warned, we need to stick together. The days grew longer and the goslings grew bigger as spring turned into summer. Mama and Papa proudly parade their family around the lake. When the sun dipped low, the goslings circled in close to their parents. Mama counted her babies to make sure they were all there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Where is Grady? Mama asked. The chattering crickets had lured Grady to the edge of the lake. Her father sternly warned her, Grady, we need to stick together. 
One beautiful day, Mama and Papa gathered their goslings together. Today was the day they would learn to fly. They were bigger now, so they were going to teach them. Mama showed them how to flap and use their wings. She told them how they could take turns leading each other. Papa explained how they could use their bodies to protect and help the bird flying behind them. They practiced taking off and landing. And before Papa led them into their air, Mama reminded them, stick together. Fall began sneaking into summer. And before long, the maple trees stood naked and a thin crust of ice began to grow at the edge of the lake. It was getting colder. It's time to head south, Mama and Papa announced. Soon the water will be frozen and food, food will be scarce. We'll start our journey tomorrow. Early the next day, geese from nearby ponds and lakes gathered in a field to begin their journey to go south. They each took off and then came together in one large flock form, forming a giant V in the sky. That's what geese do. They form a big V when we see them flying above us to go south. Flying in the V formation, the flock flew high and strong for quite some time. The geese were able to cover a long distance before needing to stop and rest. Together they scouted for a good place to land, circling once the flock flew into the wind and landed safely. Mama scanned all of her geese and counted their heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They were all there but one. Where is Grady? Miles away, Grady was still back in the field. She had wandered off and now there was no sign of her family. Grady waited and waited, but as the sun slid westward, she began to worry. Iron gray clouds filled the sky. Too late, she remembered. She remembered her parents' words, please stick together, and now she was all alone. The wind moaned, the grass rustled. Suddenly, something lunged at her from the shadows. Uh-oh. Grady frankly flapped her wings and escaped into the dark night. Desperate to find her family, she flew as long and as hard as she could. But the wind was too strong, and with no one to help her, she quickly grew very tired. Grady spotted a river. She tried to land in the water, but her tired wings gave out, and she fell tumbling into the grass. She felt something tug at her leg. She tried to pull free but it only tightened her grip. Uh-oh. Throughout the night, Grady struggled to free herself. Finally, frightened and exhausted, she collapsed. I'll never find my family. Early the next morning, the farm animals were restless. They had heard Grady's cries in the night and they stood facing the direction of the river out beyond the farmhouse. What's up, old girls? The farmer asked his cows. Curious, he was curious, he walked towards the river. When he spotted Grady, the farmer approached her carefully and said in a quiet voice, What are you doing here all alone? I thought geese stuck together. He bent down and used his jackknife to cut her free. Grady didn't move. He stroked her ruffled feathers. Well, you won't get far on your own. Gently, the farmer picked Grady up and carried her to his truck. Let's see what we can do about that. The truck rumbled down the road past corn and alfalfa fields until the farmer found what he was looking for. The farmer lifted Grady out of the truck and walked to the edge of the field. He set her down and slowly backed away. Familiar sounds of squawking and honking stirred Grady. When she mustered the strength to raise her head, she saw the most beautiful sight she had ever seen. Oh, Grady, Mama cried, you're here. 
Mama pulled Grady into the warm of her soft down feathers. Where else would I be? Grady said. After all, we need to stick together. What a sweet story. That Mama Goose had 12 goslings. That's a lot of eggs. And the Mom and Dad Goose had a big responsibility looking after those babies. But they had one Grady who liked to always adventure out. You know, it's important for birds to stick together with their moms and dads. And you too, my friends, when you go on an adventure or you go on an outing with your mom and dad, make sure you stay close because your mom and dad are there to watch over you and they love you. Have a great day, my friends. See you next time.